Are you wondering if you need to install the Beaver Builder child theme on your WordPress site? Technically, you do not have to use it. However, in this video, I will share with you why it's usually a good idea to install a child theme. But first, what is a child theme? A child theme inherits the look and feel of the parent theme and all of its functions, but can be used to make modifications to any part of the theme. The problem is if we add custom CSS or PHP to our parent theme, those changes will be overwritten when we update the theme. When you make the customizations to the child theme, your changes will remain even after you update the parent theme. Doing so keeps customizations separate from the parent theme's files. Using a child theme lets you easily upgrade the parent theme without affecting the customizations you've made to your site. WordPress has instructions for creating a blank child theme, but we've made it easy by creating one for pro and agency users to download and install directly from your My Account page. The child theme that's available for download is blank so that any code customizations you make don't get overwritten by updated versions of the parent theme. Note that even if you think you're not going to add any code customizations such as CSS, PHP, or JavaScript to your website, it's still a good idea to install the child theme anyway. The child theme does not need to be updated when you update the parent theme. If you ever decide that you want to add some code, it's going to be a lot easier than trying to install the child theme after you already have a working website. I will leave a link to the Beaver Builder knowledge base in the description below this video, where you will find lots of code examples that you can just copy and paste into your child theme. Here's how to install the theme and child theme. From your My Account page, download both the Beaver Builder theme and child theme. Next, from the admin panel in your WordPress site, go to Appearance, Themes. At the top of the content area, click Add New, and then click on Upload Theme. Upload the Beaver Builder theme zip file, but don't click to activate it. Repeat this procedure to upload the child zip file. Once you've uploaded the child theme, go ahead and click on Activate. A quick tip here. If you install your child theme after you've already set up customizer settings in your parent theme, you want to export your customizer settings from the parent theme and import them into the child theme. For more information, I'll link up to an article on how to export or import customizer settings. Question of the day. Are you using a child theme on your WordPress site? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.